Jesus you, was described as a Nazarene. Listen to me. So there is nothing wrong about being a Nazarene. Where was Jesus described as a Nazarene? Anyway, I'm not going to deflect Jesus that. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus never was called the Nazarene. Jesus of Nazareth. Right. Yes. First thing. Yes. Jesus of Nazareth. Let's establish this one thing first, one at a time. I don't mind. I can slap every single thing one at a time. <laughs> but let's go down ahead. each thing. To argue All right. With you. See, you've just, see he's already been wrong. To declare All right. He's not wrong about what he's, he, no, he's about, the, wrong. About, the, about the message of Jesus. Did Mark witness Jesus? About the message no. of the Trinity. Right. He's not wrong right. in it. Okay. He's not wrong. Did Mark witness Jesus? He, he picked me and picked Mark. No. Right. He, right. So you're wrong about that. One second. Now, you're wrong. I am wrong. Because yeah, you said yeah, nobody yeah, told him wrong. to take the Nazarite vow, yeah? Yeah, yeah? yeah, That's what you said. So let me read your scripture for you. Go ahead and read. All right. So your claim... He took the vow himself. One second. Wow, well, took the vow. No, you said. Because he needed to appeal no, you said, to the Jewish people. You said, your words. Okay, go ahead. Nobody look, told him look, to take the vow. He did it off his own back, yeah? Do you want to stand by that or do you want to take because, it back? Let me tell you something. He came into Jerusalem and they were already uproar. And the people told him because of the noise and because he had come. So he was told to take the vow. Sorry? So he was told to take the vow. Go ahead and read the scripture. No, 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 no. Let's no, go ahead and read the scripture. First thing, go ahead you and made read it. One second. You see, because I know people like you take things out of context. I'm going to allow you. Go, I, go ahead and read the I'm going to allow you. By the spirit one second, of second. I'll, I'll you. I'm, go ahead and read the listen, scripture. I've not been to Speaker's Corner for three months, right? So I'm going to be charitable. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Do you want to take back your earlier claim that Paul that wasn't told to take the vow? Of what relevance is that to you? On the issue of, Do you want to take it back? On the issue of your soul? Do you want to take that back? On the issue of what Jesus Christ is. Don't need to Jesus is Lord. Do you want to take that claim back? Jesus is Lord. Whether Paul took the vow, oh right now you want to. Or whether Paul was actually taking the vow. So now you're the man, you're Lord. He's still Lord. He's, Jesus he's still is Lord. God. He's still so God. So you take your claim back. <laughs> so I don't know what this is to you. Uh, uh, okay. Do you want to, oh, sorry. Is that all right? Do you want to take that? Do you want to take that claim back? I'm not taking any claim back. Read the scriptures. All right. So your claim was this: if you don't want to take it back, it's going to stay in lights. Okay. So you said nobody told Paul to take a vow. Yeah. All right. Paul had taken a vow by himself. Okay. <laughs> He vowed to preach Christ that I did know. No. I was, he was sent. You remember, what, you remember, you, you, remember you, you quoted that no the, the Bible said Jesus Christ is Lord. That's must have been. took a vow. Here is the, the, Lord, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Psalm of David said, knowing that the Lord is God. Zechariah 14 verse 9, in that day there shall be one Lord. He shall be king over the earth and his name shall be one. But if the Bible said there's one Lord, the Lord's going to have to be Jesus. On Damascus, Paul asked a question, who art that Lord? What did the voice say? They said, I am Hala. The voice said, I am Jesus. Right, right, right. Yes, I am Jesus. What did the voice say? I am one second, one Jesus. Second, one second, one second. One second. Yeah, we know. Yeah, but so the Bible said, said, I am Jesus. All right, so Act, Acts 20, 20, I'm reading from Acts 21, 17. Okay? When we arrived at Jerusalem, the brothers and sisters received us warmly. The next day, Paul and the rest of us went to see James, and all the elders were present. Paul greeted them and reported in detail what good he had done amongst the Gentiles through his ministry. When they heard this, they praised God. Then they said to Paul, you see, brother, how many thousands of Jews have believed and all of them are zealous for the law. They have been informed that you teach all the Jews who live among the Gentiles to turn away from Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children or live according to our customs. What shall we do? They will certainly hear that you've come. So do what we tell you. There are four men with us who have made a vow. Take these men, join in their purification, and pay their expenses so that they can have their heads shaved. Then everyone will know there is no truth in these reports about you, but that you yourself are living in obedience to the law. So I'll, like, I'll answer the question. He was told to take the Nazarite vow because reports were coming. Is that the Nazarite vow? Yes. yes. Please, you say you read from where, please. Where did you Acts 21, 17. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Acts 21. Now the reason this happened, because if you read the, in Galatians, Galatians 3.10, Paul is teaching Jews they're no longer justified by the laws of Moses. That's right. Right? And the, now they have to follow the Christ. That's right. So Paul was doing exactly what the disciples of Jesus said he was accused of doing. And to sh and, and the disciples of Jesus, to show you're not doing this, which he was doing, you need to prove to these people that you're, you're still under the law yourself. Can I say something on that? Yes, yeah, go on. A mic drop, Paul, I said, I said to you, I said Paul did all of that so that he could be acceptable to the No, Jesus. what you said... I'm coming. I said that. No, what you said Ooh, was Paul just said chose now. to take the vow. Nobody told him. That's what you said. That's wrong. Yes. And that's just incorrect. So, yeah, so you, should know, you should know your Bible. So it's something to learn. You have to learn And, and this is what I'm saying to you, which tells you what? Paul was teaching something against what the disciples of Jesus were teaching. 
what I wanted to know is that Paul became all things to all people to be able to communicate the, the gospel. The Bible says so. He will come to the all man to win Christ. I'm going to ask you an easy question now. He became all things to all people. Let me ask you an easy people. question. He became all things to all people. You want an easy question? What, 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 You're going to love this question. Go on. Go on. He became all things to all people so that he can preach the gospel. One second. And that was why he I'm, did I'm going to ask you a question, right? But what I come with after that, it's literally going to be a hole in the ground, yeah. right? I'm going to put you in it, and then <laughs> I'm going to bury you. All right? <laughs> why was Paul on the road to Damascus? Why? He was on his way to, to get Christian and bone them and bring them. From where? To Damascus, he was, he was going to get more Christians oh, okay. and bring them. And do what to them? What to them? They'll go and slaughter them, put them in prison. Slaughter them? Oh, okay. So put him in prison. Damascus for this reason? Yeah, yes. But God okay. met him. God met him on the wheel. Okay. Did Paul have any authority in Damascus? If you have authority. Did he have authority to go to another kingdom and start arresting people? He had the authority to For the chief priest. The, Lord's the Bible says, for the, it asked, he said, he said well, he had authority for the chief priest to bind all the column down here. He go to the high priest? Yeah, the high priest. Okay. He was sent by him. He goes to the high priest. Yeah. Did the high priest have any authority in Damascus? Someone too familiar with that. All I know is Ali's way and God met him. That's what I know. I know that's in Acts. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Did the high priest have any authority no. in Damascus no, to give to Paul to go and arrest Christians in Damascus? He received the authority from Jerusalem. Yeah. The high priest gave him authority from Jerusalem. Did the high priest have authority in Damascus? <laughs> no, it says here, and he desired a letter from Damascus. Oh, he had a letter from Damascus. I'm from the singer that he found anybody in the weir was to oh was it's gonna to, get worse. Was to write, Don't worry. This is just like bring an them bone to Jerusalem. No, he have authority from Damascus. Right. The was Bible Paul a Pharisee? Yes. You understand? Was Paul a Pharisee? A Pharisee. Yes. Is the high priest a Pharisee or a Sadducee? A Sadducee. The Pharisees and Sadducees work together. No. See, the Pharisees and the Sadducees are different. Yeah. Yes, completely, yeah. completely. But you see, I believe the Christian slayer. I came. I, I don't know why he started this. Yeah. I don't know what. I just came Christian. in and met you. Guys. You're welcome. And then, Fine, and, and I just thought I should step. I did tell you there's a hole there. <laughs> you know? you're gonna go no, like this. No. I don't think <laughs> what he should be doing here <laughs> should be an intellectual <laughs> something like he said earlier. Yeah. Do you want to hear the funniest thing? Do you want to hear the funniest thing? He doesn't even believe what you believe. He thinks. He doesn't believe in Trinity. I am not here to believe in any what, whatever anybody believes. I am speaking. No, but no. I believe in All right. But I am speaking. Okay. Do you, do you, okay. Okay. Do you believe in objective truth? I believe in objective truth, and I believe in the truth of the Word of God. So, according to you, he's wrong. I don't know what he was saying. He, he, he say, he's saying. Know. There's no Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I, 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 I never said that. Yeah, no, no, he yeah, says yeah, yeah, the yeah. Father is the Son yeah. and the Holy Spirit is the Father. I believe we are all witnesses here. Trinity. Yeah, but he doesn't. It's so difficult for Muslims to believe. No, but he doesn't. He, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. I believe, I believe in the Father. Who, I believe but he's a Christian. He's a Christian. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, now listen to this. One second, one second. Listen to this. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't want to make a name up for you. Just give me. Just go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, I'll explain matter. to you. Okay, you both read the same Bible. Yeah. Bible Where you want to? KJ Bible. You want to? Is it any more though? Why the talk against each other? No, 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 no. I, I want to enemy. Against anybody. No. Either. Well, I'm going to show I'm you. Well, I'm going to explain something to you. So you both read the same Bible. He reads the KJV. Do you read the KJV? I read any Bible. Any Bible. Oh, oh, okay. So you both read the same Bible, yet your beliefs are completely different to his from the same Bible. <laughs> same Bible. Same you have. Same you have also in other faiths. There are people that read other things that have different. No, 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 no. But the point is this. But the point is this. So when you read a verse and interpret it how you like, he does the same. Now, if you if you care about objective truth, either both of you are wrong or one of you is wrong. Can I say something? No, let me ask you a question though. Okay, go ahead. Do you care about truth? I've answered you before. Do you care about truth? I've answered you. No, yes. I said, do you know what it is? I know the truth. Jesus is the no, truth. No, no, no. Do, that's right. Do you know what objective truth know. is? Jesus Christ is truth. What is objective truth that you Objective want truth is two explanations from the same phenomena can't both be true. Agreed? 
I agree with you. Do you care about objective truth? I care about objective truth. As oh, long okay. as it's in line with the scriptures that I well, no, well, no, 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 no. We can remove anything. Let me tell you something. I just said to you that Jesus is the truth. He declared that he's the way, the truth, and we, the life. Yes, he declared anything it in his book, of yeah. this, Jesus, I anything am truth. Anything outside of this. I am the way. Anything outside of this. Oh, Jesus. I take it with a pinch of salt. Oh, Unless. 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 God. Unless. God. Unless. It's an agreement. Unless. Unless it's an agreement with the scripture. Unless. That's my belief. Unless. That's my faith. No, but unless. Unless. The scripture is wrong. Amen, man. 